Hey guys. Hello, hello. I am so excited to be here with you today. And I am excited for this series that we are talking about um, Mompreneur Life Made Simple. It's really going to give you a good feel for the things that I teach. And starting off today, we are going to talk about why Albert Einstein said imagination is more important than knowledge. I don't know if you've ever heard this quote before, but we think about it for a second, right? We think Albert Einstein is all about the knowledge. We trust that he is this really smart guy who, who knows a lot of things. And um, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. So let's think for a minute about the power of imagination. Um, I want you to go back in time to when you were in high school. And I want you to think about your high school self for a minute what things were important to you. Um, what did you like? Who did you hang out with? What did you like to do? Um, how did you look? It's probably, as you think about your high school self, a lot different than you are now. Um, I can definitely look back and see you know, things that I used to be really into. I really like the band Weezer. I actually still like the band Weezer. Um, I really... I was a dance, I was on the dance drill team in high school. I don't really dance at all now. There were things that I was into then. I like to stay up late in high school. Oh my gosh, I can barely stay up past 10 o'clock. My husband would say 9.30. I am ready for bed early and I like to get up early. Lots of things have changed. But we kind of know that, right? Like we kind of expect when we're in high school, of course things are gonna change. Of course things are gonna be different. I spent a lot of time in high school imagining my future spouse. I, I'm a big romantic and I would imagine what my husband would be like and I would imagine the things we would do and I would imagine you know, being with him. And um, it's interesting what happens when we get older. So however old you are now, I want you to imagine yourself 10 years in the future. And when we do that, like when we look back, we can see we're such a different person. I'm 43 now, so what will I be like at age 53? What will you be like in 10 years from now? A lot of times when we do this exercise, we think, well, I'll be pretty much the same. Like I already have this house, I already have this this spouse, I have this job, I have these things, and they, they might not change. Um, Dan Gilbert said, human beings are works in progress who mistakenly think they're finished. He is a researcher who's done fascinating information on, or fascinating research, and has this great information on our future self. So often, we think the person who we're going to be in the future is going to pretty much be the same as the person we are now. And they've done study after study. It doesn't matter when they ask people, if they ask them when they're 18 or 25 or 45 or however old, they pretty much think in the future they're going to be the same as they are now. Well, the truth is we are always, always changing. And this is the point and why we're talking about imagination today. If we can imagine who we want to become in 10 years, in five years, it doesn't really matter the timeline, but if we can imagine who we want to be, we get to decide that. We get to determine that. We get to choose that future instead of just letting life happen to us, instead of just seeing what becomes in 10 years and like, oh, here I am. We can sit and visually, like I did with my husband, right? Like, oh, I'm going to be married to this guy and he's going to be like this and our relationship is going to be like this. And I had this very vivid pic picture, which I will say my husband looks very different than who what I thought my husband would look like. On a quick aside, he is very tall. My husband is six foot ten. I certainly never imagined I would marry a guy who's like pretty much a giant. We had to, if you can see these doorways behind me, we had to raise the doorways. He's taller than a doorway. Didn't imagine that, but I did imagine um, his like his personality and what kind of man he would be and what kind of leader he would be in our home and what kind of relationship we would have. That was all very vivid in my mind. And so when we met, when I was only 19, we met, I knew very clearly um, that I wanted to marry this guy because he was what I had imagined. 
that imagination piece affects us today. Now, it's not just in, in choosing your future spouse, right? If I can imagine the kind of house I want to live in, then I can make choices today that help me live in that home. And whether that's talking about moving to a new like phys physical location or the state that I want my house to be in, like the state of cleanliness, the state of you know being comfortable and decorated and those kind of things, we can imagine how we want our life to be and then in the now knowing what that future is going to look like we choose our future today we get to decide today if i decide that i want to be really fit and healthy and that's the kind of body that i want to live in it matters what I do today. Like, okay, in two years from now, I am going to wear a certain size or I'm going to be able to run a marathon and be really fit. Well, I can't just imagine that and hope for it without taking action. I get to decide what I want, imagine, spend time creating that future self in my mind first, and then it will affect what I do today, if that makes sense. Because here's the point, you are becoming your future self right now and you get to decide right now the kind of future that you are going to have so it's kind of exciting when you think about it who you are in 10 years isn't just random it's not just going to happen to you it's determined by who you are today and the choices that you're making today so my challenge for you is to really start using your imagination picture in your mind pick a date in your mind it can be three years from now, five, 10 years, whatever, whatever it is, whatever that timeline feels good to you, pick a date and then start to imagine who you can become. And if you could have anything, what would you imagine? What would you choose for your future self? She is different than you are. She is someone else. She is a new person and you get to decide who she is and who she becomes. So, um, this is important because, like Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. For knowledge is limited to all we know and understand, while imagination embraces the entire world and all there ever will be to know and understand. Isn't that the coolest quote? So you get to imagine who you'll become. Now tomorrow, we're going to talk a little bit more about what you do with this imagine, imagination, right? Like it's fun to think, oh, I could go run a marathon. I could be super fit. I could have this business or this house or this second home by the beach or whatever it is that you're imagining. It's fun. But how do we take that to the next level? That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow in the second part of this Mompreneur Life Made Simple series. If you're not familiar with Mompreneur Life Made Simple, that is my three-month group coaching program. The next group starts July 19th. You can get set up for that by scheduling a call with me. We get on the phone. We talk about all the details, see if it's a good fit for you. Let me know if that is you. Reach out and we will set up a call. Let me know in the comments, what are you imagining in the future? As detailed as you want to be, because when you kind of write it out, that's going to help you to process and think through it. Have a great day. Thanks for being here, guys. Bye.